Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I did some work for the Thieves Guild, and uh, I think that work is about to pay off. Because, you see, the Grey Fox has been having me gather all these uh, various powerful artifacts for some form of heist in the Imperial Palace itself, and uh, the next mission is called the Boots of Spring Heel Jack. A figure from British folklore, albeit spelt with a C, in the original Victorian version, where, yes indeed, the one thing he's really known for is jumping ridiculously high. And that is definitely something that I've been obsessed with ever since I learned that, you know, acrobatics was a skill in this game way back in part one. So alright buddy, point me in the right direction, I am 100% doing this right now. Further use of Sevilla's stone has revealed that I need another special item to move forward with my plans. I need the boots of Springheel Jack. He is a famous thief that died some 300 years ago. Legend has it that he was buried with his boots on. The Earl of Imbil is the only descendant of his line that I've been able to locate. His name is Jockbin, and he lives somewhere in the Imperial City. There might be a clue in the Earl's house. Okay, so Imperial City, start there and uh, oh yeah, there is a giant graveyard with some big tombs uh, dotted around, yeah, the Imperial Palace itself. And that's where we did the very first mission that we did in the game proper, where there was the grave robbing going on. So, okay, seems like a good place to start. Here we go, that font of wisdom, Rag Bag Buntara, brilliant name, I love it. I can help. The Earl of Imbol has a home in the Talus Plaza on the inner wall. He's an odd one. Keeps to himself, mostly. Only goes out after dark. A real night owl. Okay. Only goes out after dark. Not a thief, otherwise, yeah, the Grey Fox would know about it. So, probably assassin, vampire, or mythic dawn agent in that case. Oh, and hang on, I remember this place, I've robbed it before, in fact, hang on a minute, was this the place that had, uh, yeah, the creepy murder basement, where down in the basement there was a, a locked door that went further underground, I saw this previously, when I was just robbing the place, so, uh, okay, I think I know where the lad is buried, so in which case, okay, we're going to do this properly, because, uh, I remember this guy, he had security in his house, so we're going to do this all proper sneaky-like. Oh, I just, um, I just found him. I'm going to be honest, I was just looking for, yes, the entrance to the sewers, so we could come in from below, but, I mean, this could be even better, actually. Oh, now this'll do. The lads come ready to fight. He's got himself... Oh, this is... This is perfect. This is a full set of elven gear. And his house kit. Oh, that's a lot of money too. Okay, we're going to be having all of this. And screw it. We're going to be having... Actually, you know what, John? Pickpocket. Function of sneak. So, in which case, activate sneak magic. Right. So, we'll just be having all of that off him. Oh, oh, please. Let him later try and attack me but not have any armor on him. It's just too hilarious not to happen. Oh, and better and better, this is going to be... Oh. I was about to say, this is going to be my next armor set, except no, it can't be. Because otherwise, if I get arrested, and uh, there is a real possibility I'll be arrested. I have been arrested uh, quite a few times. Hang on, can I check how many times? Curiously, no. It only tracks how many days I've been in jail, because there was the one time I had no money on me, so I had to serve out my sentence. But the point is, I'm going to be arrested at some point or another, okay? I'm literally a professional thief and murderer, so eventually there's going to be trouble in that regard. And also, I should really still be following you, just in case you're doing something really bloody suspicious. Though, if we're lucky, maybe he's just, you know, hanging around, doing his own thing, not being present in his house, meaning he would be much easier to rob right now. Oh, and there it is. I've found the sewers. Okay. 
So I now know how to get down onto this area. Brilliant. Coming through the basement, that's the way to do it. Ah, gosh darn it, no dice, unfortunately. Yeah, the marker is getting confused and pointing me into the temple district. This is the only sewers under this district. And there's only one basement I can access. Denari Amnes. Not what I want. Okay, it was a good thought, a very appropriate thought for a thief, but it hasn't worked out on this occasion. Okay, that suggests the only way in is actually front door. And I know this door can be guarded. I've seen a Khajiit guarding it. So, okay, max out sneak. Get in. See what's going on, if anything. Okay. Peaceful for now. Obviously, straight downstairs. Be aware. There might be guards. I think I saw a guard down here at one point. In fact, you know what? John, this is why we bring scouting magic. Nope. Nobody. Or at least no one within, like, a hundred feet. Despite the fact this door is open. Possibly left open by me way back in the day. And... Uh, Okay, those are shoes. They're not the right shoes. And... What do you mean I need a key? I literally just stole his key off his person. Alright, I came prepared, damn it. Okay, get upstairs. The key might be in or around, yeah. Private quarters. Find a bedroom. Watch out for... Hang on, was this... Was this not the house I was thinking it was? Because I swear the layout of the house I was thinking about was not this house. Also, hardlock study. Okay, so that's where he does his vampire stuff. That's where we're going to find a key or so. Ooh, by any chance, are these actually bloods? Okay, they're marked as cheap wine, but I'm guessing he might buy his wine from Skingrad, shall we say. Okay, that's what that key does. Also, he's standing right here, which is... Okay, this is awkward. Okay, he's moved over there. Hang on. Just check the desk quickly. We might be able to get the stuff out of the desk and... Okay, Imbo genealogy. That's useful. No mention of his burial location. Maybe the Earl himself can... Oh, yes, sorry. I forgot to just try talking to the Earl. Instead, I just kind of uh, robbed him and uh, broke into his house. And yes, that would have been a good starting point. Okay, it's now day. Based on what we've been told, he should be in. So, all right. Remember the cover story. We are posing as a traveling sandwich salesman. Aside from a small problem, that would be trespassing. So, okay. I know when I can speak to him. The same time of day as I robbed him before. Because, yeah, somewhere around midnight, 1am, he comes for a walk into these gardens. I saw him here last night and stole all his armor off him while he was doing it. So, okay, just find the right moment. We can catch him in public. Jack Venn, Earl of Imbel. We do not know one another. And given your modest social standing, I doubt we ever shall. Okay, I will have you know, I've actually got pretty good standing in several guilds. Though, now I think about it, yes, the ones I'm doing particularly well in are mostly illegal. Not the Mage's Guild, though. I am a well-respected mage, though I appreciate there's no reason you would know that. Also, am I the only one detecting, yes, in his eyes, uh, maybe the slightest hint of um, red and yellow? Okay, we're talking vampires, got it. Take everything, just spare me. Okay, not the response I was expecting from a vampire, but okay, sure. Just give me the key, I'll grab the boots, nice and easy though. Oh, I don't trust them. Okay, I feel like, yes, I might be being led into a big vampire trap right now. The family crypts are under the house. They give me the creeps. I have the key, take it, just don't hurt me. Right, so at this point he's... Hang on, are you going back to your house? Or are you still going? Okay, now he's going back to the house and that makes me trust this whole situation even less. Because previously he was heading out for a walk and now I think he's not. Now he's going down to the crypts to wait for me, isn't he? Oh, this looks... This looks very vampire-y, doesn't it? Right, activate scouting magic. Okay, there's there's a lot of people 
lot of people here. Hello. Oh. Who's there? Okay. There are. Oh, there are many people, and this is a very big area. Got it. Okay. Well, uh, then we're here to do some grave robbing. We may as well rob at every grave just in case. And that guy's coming to investigate. No, no, no. It's fine. It's dark. Just do some magic. Stay out of the way. Don't get spotted. Okay. Scouting magic is going to be very useful right now. Where am I trying to get to, by the way? Okay. Over here to the right. So actually, it's really nearby to where I am by the Luxie of it. I can definitely see... Oh, that's going to be him then, isn't it? Okay, fine. That's going to be him. Grab this. Rob everything. Can I see who it is? I can see... I can see somebody. There's two people through this door. I do have a good anti-vampire weapon here. I've got flames. Flames work against vampires. Uh, let's just crack this open. And then summon a, a demon. And yes, if we can soul capture the skeleton, better and better. Let's just pop that there. Lovely. Right, there's now a giant monster, which is good. Uh, then just draw this and now get into position. Oh, there's several skeletons, actually. Okay, oh, John. Okay, hang on. Wait, does... Does fire work well against... Okay, fire works well against vampire matriarch. Okay, just wail on her. Blood skills going up. We can get rid of one skeleton by just taking her down. She's nice and dead. Excellent. And you see, ebony. Ebony gear everywhere. Where's the elven stuff that's not bloody stolen? Okay, so we had to kill one vampire. But it's a vampire. No one cares about vampires being killed, though... Was blood price actually ever mentioned to me one way or another? I can't remember if it was. Still, his story doesn't hold together. He may or may not find these crypts creepy, but there is no way in hell he didn't know about vampires, like six of them living down here. Okay, so as a result of that, I think he's waiting for me. Other side of this door, potentially, and... Well, he's not here, but I feel like he might be about to appear. Be ready. He's going to ambush me on the way out. So, uh, then again, actually, could I... Uh, could I maybe, you know, bypass that by... Okay, you know what? No. No, no, no. Leave the doors open. If I go invisible, opening doors uh, would break the invisibility. If I get the boots, go invisible... Uh, I might be able to bypass the sudden but inevitable ambush. Okay, slight downside. Um, the boots weren't here. They were just some ordinary shoes. This is somewhat disappointing, I'll admit. Okay, one, Imben isn't just a vampire. He's also spring Heel Jack. He just changes his identity over time. And on top of that, he knew the Grey Fox, who therefore... Okay, his eyes were blue. I'm pretty sure vampires always have, like, red or yellow eyes in this game. So, I don't think he's a vampire, but then... Oh. That weird Daedric helmet. Is that thing keeping him alive? Is he centuries old and would die without it? Oh, and I'm pretty sure, by the way, I see someone rushing in right now in the background there. That's the blur of someone moving in, so okay. Let's see if I can... John... You can't just go invisible and sneak out. You don't have the boots yet. In which case, hello there, buddy. And oh, bloody hell, we're going straight into uh, combat, are we? Okay, well, I've got a death claw. So basically, screw you. Oh, you're going down. Oh, you're going down super fast, buddy, because he didn't have the armor. He actually didn't. He didn't have his armor on him because I stole it. Oh, best game. Best game ever. Please stop pushing me, by the way. I'm going to be honest, this room is too small for both of us. Oh, bloody hell. I mean, I was expecting maybe 25, 30, if the game was feeling generous. 50. I have the boots. Take them back to the Grey Fox. You know what? No. I refuse. Although I will admit, it is odd that the uh, boots of Spring Hill Jack appear to be not boots. They are definitely shoes. 
I appear to just be tying, yes, small bags around my feet, in fact. But, oh, it's time. It's flipping time. Bring it all together. Activate all the boing gear. Apart from the boing boots, those are now useless. That gets acrobatics up to 157. All right, but we're only just getting started. So just activate that, and that should be 227. That's not the number I was expecting, because... Hang on, that... How does the mathematics behind that work? Hang on, that should be... I could have sworn that was supposed to be 231, but okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And then we're not done yet, because... Because, because, because... Uh, don't forget, Hellride. Activate that too... And all of a sudden, that gets me 247. It's good. But is it good enough? Because, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, life is, life is good all of a sudden. Right, so this is, this is what I can do now. <laughs> Doesn't really feel like jumping anymore. At this point, I'm just ignoring gravity. And most of that was back down to 177. Because yes, obviously Mega Boing wears off much faster. Yes, that's more like it. Just there. Just spectacular. Oh, this is... I'm so happy with life right now. Just continue activating Mega Boing. Just, yep, crossing the street in a single bound. This is apparently about as good as it gets. Because yes, I understand the cap for... Everything is 255. And if I just activate, yes, the uh, Mega Boing spell, that is now approximately that. Oh, hang on, wait a second. I just realized Boing Ring 2 was never applied. Because, oh yeah, the way rings in this game work, hang on. Put on Boing Ring 2 and blend that with Mega Boing. And we should, that's it. We actually have. We've done it. We've hit 257. That is now as good as it flipping. Oh, yes. Yes. This is it. This is as good as jumping gets unless you're getting into the world of, yes, like some form of manipulation, bugs, mods, etc. This, as I understand it, is, okay, sadly, Hellrider's worn off. But still, this is... This is lovely. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. What I was about to say was, yes, I need to have a think about my stats for my next armor set. Which, you know, I will make as soon as I can find any elven armor in existence that isn't stolen. Because right now, this is my default loadout. And it's not actually that good in some ways. Because, okay, stats in this game, like attributes, these stats right here... I can take them beyond 100. However, different stats have different utility beyond 100. Specifically, you're not going to be doing more damage with associated weaponry. Agility, in terms of bow damage, that caps out at 100. However, the derived statistics like, say, fatigue, that keeps going beyond 100. As a result of that, agility being beyond 100, honestly, not the most important thing in the world. However, intelligence being beyond 100, that keeps contributing to my magicka pool. That being over 100, that's brilliant. Speed being over 100, that keeps contributing because, yes, basically running away faster than enemies can keep up with me and shooting them with arrows, that's working really, really bloody well. So for me, yes, I should be aiming at an armor and apparel loadout that gets agility to... 100 and then no more than 100, everything else should be piled into speed and intelligence. So yes, yeah, specifically right now, I am wearing, well, I'm wearing a necklace called Insert Archery Pun here, but it's not actually boosting my archery at all. Meaning I can now put on, yes, a better necklace that's actually going to help something, like say either intelligence or speed. So go on, I've got a bronze amulet right here, and I'm pretty sure I picked up Grand Soul Gem. Got that last episode, and I can't remember where from, but it's grand, so it's fine. And as a result of that, we can replace Insert Archery Pun here with Insert Speed Pun here. 
And that there, that already looks better, though. Yes, we can rethink all of this when we actually get some Elven gear. Okay, nipped over to Anvil to my current best offence to, yes, sell the Elven gear. Alright, I've been arrested too many times, even though the original owner is now dead, so... John. If you just hadn't stolen the armour in the first place, would you have been able to take the armour off his body and then it wouldn't have been... Bloody hell. Sure, why not? I might even be able to ransom it back to the original owner. I'm gonna be honest, mate. I really doubt that. Alright, there are very good reasons why you can't do that. I am going to get that armour, no matter what it cocking takes. And every shop I go into is only selling light armor trash. And that means we're going to need to go and peel it off the still warm corpses of bandits. Who sometimes, though not always admittedly, do seem to have some good stuff on them. So, okay. At this point, I will very happily take any mission that involves me beating up a giant number of bandits. Oh, here we go. A mission that specifically mentions outlaws. Admittedly... Outlaws uh, we might need to speak to, as opposed to murdering. But still, last time me and Mazoga, the orc who thinks she's a knight, went out on an adventure together, we beat up a whole bunch of thugs. Okay, hang the bloody hell on here. Mazoga has been shopping since the last time I spoke to her. You were not wearing ebony gear last time. Oh, well, Lardy Conkin die. You are looking fancy. Okay, Mazoka, me and you, we need to go and hunt down Black Brugo, apparently. I know Brugo. Long ago, back before I became Sir Mazoga. I split a share or two with Brugo. And now I can tell her the Count's offer. I'm going to be honest, I can't remember what it is. It was some time ago we did this. Brugo's a jerk. He's got a hideout in a ruin called Telepi. Every night between midnight and 6 a.m., he stops there to pick up his take. We're pals, right? So we'll kill Black Brugo and be knights. I'll wait right here until you ask me to follow you. Okay, so an exact location and everything. And Mazoga, you are coming You're with me. Let's flip it, do it. I can't deny, though, I'm somewhat disappointed she's not actually dressed in elven gear. Because if she had been, we could have just... Let her die, and then, you know, take it all for myself. So, okay. Where's this telepy you just mentioned? Oh, it is literally just around the corner. Got it. Okay, there she is right there. But we did have a time. So we should definitely go maybe just before midnight. Then, yeah, try and get it all done within the next six hours after we're done waiting. So that should get us to, yeah, pretty much bang on midnight. Alright, I see a light now on, where well, there's a bit more in our favour. There's also... What the cock is that? Hang on, there's... There's a creature here, I don't really like the... What on earth is... What the cock is... Hang on! What on earth is... What is that? What even is that? What? What's happening? Why is there a giant lobster man all of a sudden? What is going on? I don't like this. I don't like the giant lobster man who's just appeared... John... Don't forget how you actually fight. You summon things. Summon a death claw. It can take out the giant lobster creature. Okay, please, please take out the giant lobster creature. What What even is this thing? Is it a demon? Does it just exist in the world? This feels like a thing that shouldn't exist in the world. I'm going to... going to whack it with a sword. We're having its soul, obviously. Okay, my summon has been cocking useless. Just finish it off. There we go. And what on earth is this thing? A land drake or something. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Dropping a valuable wax. Also, oh, bloody hell, what the? Okay, that was just my own death claw ceasing to exist. It's fine. Also, where the cock is, Mazoga? Okay, everyone's been cocking useless today. Though I will say one nice thing. A hangabout is this. Ooh, proper stone of some description. So... Okay, hang about. I've gained the shield of Shazar Greater Power. Did I want that? To be honest, I liked Hellride. Oh no, I've still got Hellride. This is... Oh, this is something different. So it just fortifies... Uh, okay. 
Not sure 100% this is what I wanted, but right, so I can have one, like, normal stone spell, and one, like, mega stone spell. How do I tell the difference between the two? Okay. Where's Mazoka got herself to? She was supposed to be following me. Okay, to confirm, she ran around the corner trying to get to me, ran into a wisp, and then immediately died. Some people don't deserve to be knights. Right, just me taking on a black brugo, in that case, and... Alright, I hear things happening. Just line up a shot and... Go! Get a friend in play to block up the door, start backing off, and don't mind me, buddy. Oh, someone did some summoning. Not much mind, and down it you go. Buddy, Roxy Arak is nice and dead. Oh, was I supposed to be talking to these people? I really hope not, because I haven't. I've just been sending monsters at them, given I was told, hey, how about what you do is you go and murder this guy. So, sorry about that, but instead we're murdering you. Right, he is right here. Take him out while he's distracted by my flipping death claw, and you're wearing ebony gear, aren't you? Why is it nothing but ebony cocking gear? Oh, never mind. You know what? It's all worked out in the end because Alonzo, he had himself boots and cure us. Okay. So we've got... I'm a bit overweight, by the way. Okay. I need like... Oh, I'm already fortifying strength. I can't fortify it anymore. Okay, hang on. Where's my... Where's my feather abilities? Do I have any? I never learned feather. Brilliant. And an extra 300 gold are just chilling out right here. Okay, this is a tiny dungeon. It's like two rooms or something. So, your majesty, good flipping noose, which is one, Black Brugo is dead, and two, I also got rid of Mazoka, the orc who was annoying you. I feel a bit bad about that, but like, not that bad. She didn't really deserve to be a knight, no. Justice has been done, and henceforth, you shall be known as Knight of the White Stallion. May I present you with the perquisites of your rank. A key to White Stallion Lodge and a shield bearing the arms of County Leowin. And I promise you a bounty of 100 gold for each black bow you bring me. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I may not be able to carry that shield right now. Okay, is this actually any good because... No, it's actually worse than a level the playing shield. It's not even got an enchantment on it either. All right, at least see how it looks. And it's kind of trash, actually. I'm going to be honest, mate. You can keep it. It's fine. Just going to take that shield. Pop that on the throne next to you. Hang about. There we go. You can have it back. It's your new queen. Oh, though hilariously I did just notice, yes, one of the only bits of gear that I actually just found was, um, the elven boots. The one thing I will never use because I'm never taking off the boots of Spring Heel Jack again. So, it's fine. We need to change out the main breastplate because, uh, seriously, this thing seems to break all the time. And it's not even that bloody good. Alright, it's not intelligence 10, it's only intelligence 9. So, we're making that change over right now. I say right now, we're not making any changes at all without the right souls. So, okay. Can't help but notice I suddenly need two things simultaneously. One, I need a giant pile of bandits to provide me with additional elven gear. And two, I need some human souls. So, okay, two birds, one stone. Although actually, oh, hang on. No, I don't. Sheer bloody coincidence. A sentence sigil stone happens to actually be intelligence. So, that's, that's actually bloody perfect. That's as good as I can actually get, even with, ah, oh, welcome to the rotation, mind your manners. Okay, gonna be honest, do need more matching pieces right now. Nothing bloody fits, but it's a good starting point. Unexpected problem. Nobody's selling empty Grand Soul Gems. Everybody is selling Grand Soul Gems with Grand Soul already inside. 
which means they're already good enough to use in the highest tier of enchanting, so... Okay, well this is... this is just embarrassing. Apparently I didn't need to bother learning how to use the souls of my enemies. I could have just gone shopping and these guys would have given me everything I needed. Ah, one thing though. A grand soul gem just floating around in a display case because nobody minds me robbing this place apparently. No, seriously, why is nobody stopping me from doing this? I'm just going around stealing literally everything you own. Okay, two of them were wasted because they've got greater in them, but two were actually empty. And now we just wait somewhere between one and eight days for, yes, the... My acrobatics just went up from, um, from falling off a cliff. Which I suppose kind of makes sense to learn from your mistakes and whatnot. But as I say, one and eight days to turn these into black soul gems. And if I'm lucky, I might get an extra one too, because sometimes the guy who's doing the, uh, yes, test ritual, he just seems to respawn and generate a new gift black soul gem, because I've definitely killed that guy and taken his soul gem twice. I do enjoy, by the way, how my hero of Kavach, in case he just spends a week camping up here in the mountains nearby to Chayton Hall, purely in order to figure out, yes, when I'm going to be able to, there we flipping go, now, by any chance, is there a nice, convenient... There is a nice, convenient guy here. He seems to spawn every time, which is good, because all I need to do now is just stay back, let him do the ritual, and that should be, I think, a free extra. Also, he doesn't notice my horse standing right there every bloody time, so just draw and... Lovely! Oh! That was good. Right there. Oh, yeah. We want to uh, swap summons, do we? I don't think you want to do that at all. My summon is better than yours, buddy. Take you out. Wormancrite goes down. And I win. Beautiful. And there we go. Free black soul gem every time. Right. Then just one soul trap. Maybe two just for safety. And that should be... Two black soul gems, so three total because of the gift one I just got from him. Beautiful. So put them together with, yeah, these four. That is seven. That's enough for a full set of gear. But, you know, first I need to, um, find the gear. Though that does also remind me of, uh, yes, one other small, potentially of note thing. Which is, I swear I saw somebody mention that level 17 was an important level. Specifically, the level you go up to the best tier of stuff you can get out of, yeah, the Oblivion Gate upgrade balls. So, in theory, that would suggest that actually, Oblivion Diving might get me better results than Enchanting can. Like, literally, the top tier of Enchanting cannot be as good as the top tier of Oblivion Diving if you happen to get lucky and get the right thing. So, okay, lest we forget, yes, indeed, my darling lizard wife does actually live in Coral. So, don't worry, guys. Today, I am going in to help you guys out. And, seriously, the guards just stand there and look at the gate all day, every day. It is ridiculous. But, okay, lads, let's sort this out. And uh, anything is needs doing when well, I see you guys. Okay, you guys come over here towards the guards uh, because... I think there was a courier over there. Would somebody like to maybe help out? Okay, well, she does. Oh, she is going to die. Okay, I'm so sorry. I kind of assumed, you know, this would be the guards who are just standing back and using bows. Which, no offense, is what I do, so I can't complain too hard about this. So just take you out and please stop hitting me. They do it pretty bloody hard, actually. Right, one soul and... Don't kill him that fast. I need the souls to keep my weaponry going. Dear, oh, flipping deal. So... Why did he have a lockpick on him? Okay, I think I might have just killed, yes, a secret in disguise member of the Thieves Guild there. Okay, in we go. And do I recognize this map? Yes or no? And, oh, hang on. Oh, I think I do, but it's one of the more complicated ones. This is one of the ones where, yes, you've got to go in the tower, go up to the top, use that to open up the gate... To get to the, yes, correct door, which is the only one that actually goes up to the top. So, okay. Prepare zoom magic. We're doing this all fast, okay? Weapons away. We are not fighting. Okay. I can out sprint everything. Also, bloody hell, how do I get into here? Yes, door on the outside. This is fine. So, go into eruption right at the bottom and 
Okay, so I don't remember how this, this works. But okay, just ignore you. That's fine. You might spit a fireball at me. I kind of don't care. I do need to hit the, yes, gate up at the top. So uh, get up to the top just to keep on zooming. This is also presumably boosting restoration, given it is, yes, restoration magic, fortification of whatnot. So okay, get to here. Sort this out. That's cage. Just a skeleton, it's fine. Get over to here. Eruption gate control. So, okay. There's the Waste of Oblivion. That should have opened one of the gates. I can't remember which. Also, did someone just explode down there? Because I swear someone just exploded. Here we go. Much running around in bloody circles later. We've made it. Local security, can't deny, is getting, you know, a little bit more elite as time goes by and more plentiful as well. Just get over to here. Grab that's a good amount of money, actually. Don't mind me. Just did I get that, by the way? I'm pretty sure I did get that. Now just nobody kill me. Transcendent. Just stay out of the way. And if we are very, very lucky indeed. Well, one, gate has been sorted out. You're welcome, Dharma, my darling. And two, here we go. Transcendent is... Okay. It's better. 12 points. The maximum I can ever get is 10. Now, willpower isn't, for me, the most important thing in the world. But then again, probably we could do with boosting it a bit. Yes. Because, okay, I will be keeping the magic mega boy boots. But we don't need them all the time. Better option would be elven boots. All right. Take them and also... I forgot I had an elven shield. So the boots, they can fortify willpower. That is going to be, you know, a perfectly decent thing for them to do. We can change them out later if need be. Welcome to the rotation, will to live. And the shield with no murder whatsoever, as weird as that is to say, will naturally be given, yes, shield again. Because I just feel like, yes, if I'm getting my shield out, it's probably because someone's trying to hit me and they're nearby to me. So 10% damage reduction would be magnificent and... As this is an elven shield that is literally protecting me in more than one way. Welcome to the rotation, elven safety. So, okay, put all that together. We have now got elven boots and a chest plate and a shield. Meaning, as a result of that, what still needs to be changed out is, yes, the pants together with, yes, the arm pieces. And at some point, yes, I'm going to be honest, the helmet probably needs to be replaced because... Now I've got the scouting spell, I don't really need the benefit of the helmet day to day. Plus I really, really don't need alchemy being boosted by 5 points either. Alchemy is well under control. And we can do a better job in terms of marksmen, so okay, we can do better, basically. Also I did just um, remember, earlier this episode, we did just join a knight's order and he gave me the key to my knight's headquarters. And I didn't even bother going to look at it. I'm so sorry. That is so ungrateful of me. We're going to go hang out there right now, I promise. Okay, so here we are just up the road from Leowin. Right next to, um, yep, a swamp. Tipping it down with rain. And uh, you say it's the, um, the Lodge of the White Stallion. Does kind of look like just a shack to me. Yep. Pretty much a shack, actually, though kind of military in its layout. You got a target, you got a little training dummy over here. I'm guessing if Mazoga was here, she'd probably be using that. And uh, yeah, little bedroom divided in two. One for me, one for Mazoga. So, oh, Mazoga would have loved it here because she was terrible. So she probably would have been very easily impressed by this house that doesn't have a kitchen or a bathroom. And okay, there we go. That's my current loadout, which is much better. Agility is now not being needlessly wasted. Intelligence, well over 100. So yeah, Magicka is looking very, very good indeed. Speed, over 100 as well. And there is a lot, lot more we can do yet as we start improving the various bits of our loadout. And uh, I think I know where we want to go next because... Uh, it's time we checked in with the Fighters Guild, the guild I've been basically completely ignoring to date. But presumably, now I've been to 
every city and thus can fast travel there, guilt free, we can actually make some pretty fast progress through the ranks there. And dealing with just random bandits who are causing trouble, that has got to be in their remit. So uh, next time, oh, we are going to complete our brand new armor set. And on top of that, well, let's just say I've got plans bigger than the ultimate Boeing sets. You see, maxing out acrobatics, that's doable, but the real ultimate goal for me has got to be maxing out speed. Because speed isn't just maxing out speed, that means I need to get both speed and athletics up to 255 simultaneously, which is going to be an absolute cocking nightmare, but in theory, just in theory, it might be be possible to do. So, okay, first steps towards that coming up next time as well. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves. I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.